And now at 11, a man and a woman found dead in a Pittsburgh home after relatives asked police to check on them. It's the first homicide area police have investigated in nearly two decades. RTV6 to Chance Walser is live in Hendricks County now with the latest on this developing story. Chance? The police say this isn't something that just happened today. Neighbors tell me they heard what they think now were gunshots nearly a week ago. The deceased woman apparently hasn't been at work since last Tuesday. Neighbors say she lived here with the now deceased man. It was the woman's mother who asked police to check on her after not hearing from her in a while. Right now, all signs point to the man shooting that woman, then turning the gun on himself in a murder-suicide. Police say they're basing that on the wounds and location of weapons. The situation has occupied the attention of the neighborhood for much of the day. This is a neighborhood that's simply not used to seeing crime like this. It's different. For Pittsburgh, it, it's different. You know, I mean, you don't hear about that all the time, you know, out here. So it's a pretty quiet town. You know, everybody basically knows everybody out here. It's, you know, family-oriented neighborhood. I was talking to the deputy chief about this case, and I asked him how long it's been since his department has investigated a homicide. He said it was well before he was with this department, serving with another agency 17 years ago. So certainly a crime that this community is not used to seeing. Live in Pittsburgh, Chance Walser, RTV6.